Good afternoon, everybody. Eve is so excited because she got a gift in the mail that we got today from Becca and Brian. They're so nice. We're gonna show you the rest of the box in just a second, but Sarah started playing with it. Ooh. Sit. Uh-oh. Good girly. Such a good girl. I'm sorry, there's one more thing. You're such a good girl. It's just a stick. Or a sticker. Say, Sarah, get it, get it, get it. Say, thank you, Becca and Brian. She's gonna run away with it. <laughs> it is Friday, I just got home from work, but we got an awesome package in the mail today in our P.O. box from Brian and Becca, all the way from Canada. And we, I mean, we say, we said it like the other week when we got the, the Buffalo, New York stuff. We just love like the, the regional stuff. And this is crazy because it's from a different country. And I snuck a uh, taste of some of the stuff. Did yeah. And we're gonna have we're gonna have some of this with our dinner tonight, so it worked out perfectly. The first thing we got, maple cookies, which said it was for you that you requested them. Yeah. You did. I said in the vlog that you always get coffee, and it's not oh. fair. So coffee for Peter, cookies for Sarah. So. The funny thing is, is maple cookies. All right, thanks. Like my mom would buy him his mm -hmm. own. Thing, so. so this is literally both of ours. Probably one of our favorite snacks ever. Eve's already playing with the with the squeaker. So thank you. <laughs> she just took, she just ran away with it. I got too close. I think. This Canadian flag, and we love Canada. I'm French Canadian, and we love Canada. This is super cool. Old oh. Dutch ketchup potato chips. Like my box. Jenna just told me about that because when they were into Canada. So delicious. Cheesies, they're like Canadian Cheetos. So good. Another Canadian flag. Tim Hortons original, some more Canadian coffee. I might brew this up tomorrow. Oh wait, another Canadian flag. Hmm. This box of Smarties, new package. That'll be dessert for today. Or maybe it'll go with us if we go to the movies. More chocolate and candy bars. This is all for Sarah. I think I've had Oh Henry before. Crunchy peanut butter, chewy fudge, creamy caramel, covered in chocolatey deliciousness. Oh Henry. It's funny because my sister like just sent me, like they were just in Canada, her and your fiance. She was chocolate. sending me all the pictures of this stuff. That's so funny. This is probably what I'll make tomorrow. Pure maple syrup, Turkey Hill, pure maple coffee. Maple coffee. That's like everything for me. Another Canadian flag. And this is what we should use so soon. Canadian maple smack dab gourmet mustard. Look how fancy that is. And mapley. And to top it off, another Canadian, two Canadian flags. Thank you, Becca and Brian. You are too much. This is all amazing. So we decided. You look a little bit more put together. You look put together before. You look relaxed. You didn't put, look put together, but you look relaxed. Let's be honest, I was wearing the same shirt as yesterday under that sweater. But you were looking relaxed, you're sick. We should be relaxed, and that's what we're doing. So we're we were coming to see Yahabab, but the rumors are true, and Yahabab's not here. We have bad luck with that. No, but it's okay because I like Mark more than Yahabab, but we don't know if it's Mark. I asked the security guard, and he's like, I didn't see who was filling in, but usually Mark does. But Mark was at the Chippendale campfire, which I think is seven days a week. It is, but it's not the same cowboy every time. She's. What would I do without her? I'd be lost. So we're gonna kind of walk around. It's only like 7.30. We got some time to kill before we go check out some music. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed it's Mark, but I'll still be excited if it's not because we've never seen anybody else. We've only seen Yeehaw, Bob, and Mark. So it'd be kind of cool to see something different.
replace those big comfy chairs that were here last time we were here with these tables and chairs. And now those aren't as loungy. So I'm on this couch facing away from everything. We don't know who's playing yet. We weren't getting drinks or food, so we didn't want to go by a table. So I don't know just yet where we're going to sit. This guy is not the same. It's not me, how about it? So, we're leaving already. Yeah. I'm really not feeling well. Sarah needs to get some rest. The entertainment wasn't the same. So, I don't know what we're gonna do when we get home. Probably just gonna rest. Um, Sarah's not feeling good. Yeah. So she already said that she's nervous. She's, we're gonna go home and she's gonna fall asleep, which will probably happen. But she probably. So it needs might be it. the Peter show for the rest of the night. Yeah. The Peter and Eve show. Why did I just put the kettle on at 11:37 at night when my wife has been asleep, resting for over an hour? Because I have a story time for you. We've already stated many times over about like the emotional like things we've learned by doing this vlog because we're, we're over 10 months now of doing the vlog we're nearing one year since the daily vlog has started without missing a single day which is insane to me but there's something that we haven't talked about yet and it's very like the mechanics business side of the vlog but I am tired I fell asleep resting at Port Orleans earlier, and it was like that kind of rest that wasn't like, I'm well rested, it was like I woke up more tired than I fell asleep. But, I did the dishes, we have a kind of busy day tomorrow, I also want to get our blog. And it's something that we haven't done too much of, but we're going to do more of, and it's a very important topic. And that's what has sparked this idea of what I'm about to show and talk to you about. So, let me get my tea. Lighting's a little crazy because it's nighttime, but I've got my tea steeping. I'm still up right now because I'm about to write a blog post on our website, The Brookhart Project, about Sarah's last visit to our fertility specialist. So that blog should be up relatively around the time that this, this vlog is up. Uh, we'll put the information down below, but if anything, just go to thebrookhartproject.com. Go to the top left, hit the menu, and there'll be a blog section. And I think I'm gonna kind of talk about Sarah's latest doctor visit, but more so about like what we've gone through so far in our uh, fertility journey, because um, there's been ups and downs. But why set up the camera? Why have this like dramatic-esque scene? It's because we've talked about Sarah has shown in previous vlogs or her organization on how she gets up in the morning, edits the vlog gets Instagram posts ready, all that good stuff. We've shown you this, we've shown you our equipment. Um, and we always have like, Casey Neistat's a big time YouTuber out of New York and he always says, use the equipment, the best equipment you have at the time, which I love that because we're living through that experience. Use whatever best, whatever equipment is, is you, you can grab at that moment, that's the best equipment you should use. For instance, our G7X has been having a bad week because I got it covered in sand. So we've been using a lot of our phones. We still produce our vlogs, but they're still pretty decent, I think. And that's just the best equipment we could use at the time. And what I wanted to talk very quickly about is something that Casey's good friend, to another, um, he's more motivational business, is my guy Gary Vanerchuk. He has a good concept that kind of partnered this con that concept with Casey Neistat is like great social media um, strategy and, and, and that is remove all the friction between you and your audience. And what he means by that is there's some of you who, small amount of you, but some of you who don't do YouTube and we make vlogs on YouTube so it's like that doesn't make sense, how would you watch us? I don't know if a lot of you are aware, but we try to post, we're a few days behind right now, but we try to post every one of our vlogs on Facebook, on our group page. Full 15, 16, 20 minutes, seven minutes, our full vlog edited gets uploaded for people to watch exclusively on Facebook. 
Now, like those views and there's no AdSense and views and stuff that get cross combined with YouTube. We just want you to be able to watch our content wherever you want. That's also why we have Facebook page. We have our Facebook discussion page. We have our website, thebrookartproject.com. Dom and I have a podcast, uh, Park Hopper podcast. We have a Tumblr, if you weren't aware, you can actually find the Brookhart Project on Tumblr. Um, and we haven't done much with it. We might be getting to work with the podcast with this, but we even have a Twitch. We've uploaded a few of our vlogs to Twitch because that's another medium. And why, um, why I bring all this up is because you may not go on Instagram, but you may watch Facebook stories. So we try to put content on both to connect with all of you to remove that friction. So you can enjoy, so we can have this relationship, we can build our community with you in any way. If you don't do Snapchat, but you do Twitter, we're on both. We may not be able to put the exact same content or same level of content on both, but we're gonna be on both. Um, a lot of families watch our vlogs, so I don't wanna go too much into certain details about the fertility specialists or certain things that we're going through personally, but we still wanna share with you because we share more than 85 to 90% of our life with you, all of you. Um, so that's not something for the vlog, but we still wanna share it, so we're gonna post on the blog. So just something to think about if you, um, if you are part of our like little community and you have seen that before where sometimes we have the same stuff or we reference putting up stuff, you'll see us taking pictures, but never see it on Instagram, but it might not be for Instagram, it might be for Twitter or Snapchat or the Facebook page. Uh, and there's a lot to it, and you don't need to follow us on any of them or all of them. Um, whatever is your kind of whatever is your niche, we want to be there for you because we want to we want to have a fun time with everybody and share all of our wrenches with you. So that is my ramble. I don't know how much that's staying. I'll see you in a minute. Bedtime. It's 12:40 in the morning. I'm supposed to get up earlier too. Um, pretty much finished the blog. Sarah, I'll Sarah proofread and, and finish up the last article, the last paragraph. She started getting. I think she's restless. I think she's ready for bed because she started barking and it's way too late for her to be barking. I don't want her to wake up any of the neighbors. Yeah, she's ready for bed. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>